going on, you guys? How you guys doing? Old Dog and Time Period Chill here. One name, three personalities, Old Dog and Time Period Chill. Let's go to court. Might as well do it. No reason to wait. Let's go to court, people. You know how we do. This is the case of Monero versus Samsonoff. Your plans to get married, Mr. Monero, are on hold until you find out whether or not Ms. Samsonoff is cheating. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I told you guys before that women like to be with men that they can be proud of. Um, you know, unless a woman catches, unless a man catches a woman like really early um, to where, you know, they're together for so long and she grows and he grows onto her and things like that. Or, or when they first got together, she wasn't pretty yet. A lot of times when women, when women first get with men, whenever you see women who, who look like they're like a higher status physically, like a woman who's way more attractive than a man and you see them together, either she's using the man for his money or he got with her when maybe she didn't, she, she, she didn't look as good yet. Maybe she wasn't as pretty yet. She, she didn't, she hadn't like, you know, um, like glowed up yet basically. Um, and, and, but she still stayed with him throughout all those years or he used to look a lot better and he has gained weight throughout the years. But let me just say this, first of all, I think she's cheating on him because women love to be proud of their men. Like a woman wants to show her man off. And because of the way she is and how she looks, she can probably get men who are much more attractive than how he looks. And so I think that she's probably cheating on him with um, men that are much more attractive than him. Because by the way his body looks and he's overweight, you can see that I don't think that she's faithful to him. I, don't, I, I just wouldn't think that. Because of the way she looks compared to the way he looks, she's not faithful with him. I don't, I don't believe that. So let me just say that from the beginning. All right, let's go. Or not, is that correct? That's absolutely correct. Tell us why you've opened this case. Um, Your Honors, this is difficult for me today. Okay. Because I love Sonia. I loved her since I first saw her. I love her today. I want to have a beautiful kid with her. I want to be married with her. I want to laugh until we die. Wow. Okay, so this man is crying. Guys, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't be like this. Because... Not only are you out of shape and overweight, but to cry and show weakness, you don't look like a real man. So sh this right here is even more of a turnoff because it makes you look like a little punk. Complaining and whining and crying and stuff like that. So he's gonna even come off as more unattractive to her now because of the way he acts. Because if, he, if he's like this, on national TV at this court case, then can you imagine how much he probably whines and cries at home? He probably whines and cries and complains at home like a little B-I-T-C-H. He's probably a little punk at home. He's probably always complaining up to her and, oh, you're probably doing this and you're probably cheating on me. And do, 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 do. he's probably like that at home. If he's like that, if he's like this, on national TV, he's probably a little punk at home. And so I even now believe even more that she's definitely cheating on him. Absolutely. Wow. I can tell this is tearing you mm -hmm. up. But I'll tell you, uh, your honors, what? If I find out today for certain that she's still lying and cheating, I will no longer be in this relationship. So you can't take it anymore? I can't hurt myself like this anymore. I'm in pain all the time. What do those tears in your eyes represent? The future I want to have with her. And to know that it's potentially at risk is destroying you, isn't it? That's correct. So you're like, either she's in or I'm out. She's either got to be with a program or I got to find a new playing field. Okay. Miss Samsonoff. Yes. This man who has professed his love for you, who wants to be with you for the rest of his life, is accusing you of cheating. 
Yes. What do you have to say about these allegations? Uh, I love Albert. He's funny. He makes me feel good about myself. My whole family loves him. We have the same taste in music. However, every single time I am with this man, he says, who'd you sleep with? Let me go through your phone. Yeah. Guys, you can't be in, you can't be insecure if you're with a woman, guys. You can't be insecure. If you're insecure, then don't be with that woman. And see, this is the problem. This is the problem when you have guys who get with females who are on a higher level in physical attraction than they are. That's why all you guys that, you know, be on Instagram and be on social media and all this stuff, you guys want these quote unquote baddies and all that type of stuff. You guys want these perfect tens and these beautiful models and these Instagram models and these IG models and stuff like that. You guys wouldn't be able to deal with it because these women are so much more attractive than you are that you're always going to be insecure just like this guy is. So it's never going to work out because you're going to drive the female crazy. So guys can't be with females. Guys always want females that are way more attractive than they are. But you can't deal with it. Even if you had a female that was, that was those IG models and those baddies and those perfect tens, guys, you, you guys... Men say they want females like that, but you don't because you wouldn't be able to mentally be able to deal with it. You'll be too insecure. And you being insecure is going to drive her to cheat on you anyways. And so that's the problem with guys getting with females that are much more attractive than they are in, in society. You can't do it. Guys are too insecure. Life is accusing you of cheating. Yes. What do you have to say about these uh, allegations? I love Albert. He's funny. He makes me feel good about myself. My whole family loves him. We have the same taste in music. However, every single time... Everything she just described, everything that she just described about him was that he's a good guy. She didn't say he was sexy. The sex is great. Everything was, he's a nice guy. We have the same taste in music. My family loves him. He's funny. All the nice guy traits. Not that he's hot, he's attractive. Man, like I love being with him, he turns me on. He, she's cheating on him with a guy that turns her on. And, and, and her, her man, this guy is the chubby, nice guy he's the fat chubby funny nice guy that pays for all her stuff i'm guaranteeing probably her breasts those boobs her breasts are not her or not real he paid for her breasts paid for her probably blonde extensions all right y'all keep being a nice guy i'm talking to men out there y'all keep being a nice guy if you want to nice guys you gonna always like lose in the end, nice guys, you will never finish in, with the win. Nice guys always finish last, right? Can't be the nice guy. Yes. What do you have to say about these uh, allegations? I love Albert. He's funny. He makes me feel good about myself. My whole family loves him. We have the same taste in music. However, every single time I am with this man, he says, Who'd you sleep with? Let me go through your phone. Um, let me go through your DMs. I don't trust you. And I'm like, well, I th why would you want to marry someone you don't trust? Wow. Do you think, Ms. Sampson, now part of this may be the 10-year age difference between you? That this trust is, is part of that? Is that part of it? But he's never trusted me, though. He, ever since we've gotten together, he has constantly accused me. Going through my Instagram messages. You hear that ever since? You hear that? Ever since they got together, he's constantly accused her. You can't, guys, all you guys, you say you want a, a baddie, a model, you wouldn't be able to handle it. Just heard what she said. Ever since they got together, he's constantly accused her. Because, guys, 
You can't get with a female that's this much more attractive than you are. You will never be able to trust her because you know in the back of your mind that she can get a guy that looks much better than you. That's why it never worked. That's why you'll constantly accuse her. That's why it never worked. So now part of this may be the 10 year age difference between you, that this trust is, is part of that, is that part of it? But he's never trusted me though. He, ever since we've gotten together, he has constantly accused me, going through my Instagram messages, leaving messages to my like friends and stuff. I mean- Cause you're wrong and you know you're wrong, how? that's why. I'm not so, wrong. So you said ever since you all met, he's been doing that? Yes. How did you all meet? Okay. <laughs> we met at a family members of mine at a party, and, uh, and we really hit it off. But my family member let me know from the start that she was trouble, that she lies, that she, this is one of her I good lie. friends. That you lie and you cheat. That's what she said. That I lie and I cheat. Yeah, huh? that's wow. exactly Why what she said. Why would you ever want to be with someone that does that? Because I like to give people chances. I like to believe there's something else than what I hear. I like to see for myself. Mm, so you heard this, but then you're like, well, you know, I'm going to judge for myself. That's I'm right. Gonna, so you gave her a fair shot. I've Three been giving fair shots. All right. So when you got together, how was it in the beginning? It was wonderful. I was so happy. I, I had such a, every time I'd be around her, I would just be laughing. Look at the smile on his face. Yeah, I see that. I mean, it, it, it is very it's, it's clear. It's okay to smile. It's okay to smile. And, and be happy about the memory. Yeah. Ms. Samson, what was it like for you? It was wonderful. I, um, I loved to, to cuddle with him. We would talk about everything, about life, the future. But then all of a sudden, the passion kind of sizzled out oh, and oh. the sex wasn't as good as oh, it was before. Oh. Yeah, let everyone know. <laughs> and why do you think that happened? Why because he's just started to accuse me and he just ah. stopped wanting to, you know, get intimate with me. And then it was me practically begging him. Because I don't want to be intimate. I don't want to be intimate with five different people I don't know. Oh. oh. Mr. Ashnoff, you said that. Oh, that man said, I don't want to be intimate with five different people I don't know. Woo! I mean, the, well, she got the guys running through her. She got the D-I-C-K's running through her. The sex just kind of declined because why? Because he's constantly accusing me of cheating. He, I have to practically beg him to get intimate with me. And he's like, nope, sorry. I don't know where you've been. And, like, and so do you think these allegations came out of the blue? I mean, one day I told him I was going to be running like 10 minutes behind. I, no kidding, I get out of the Uber, meet with him. We get inside my room, I lay down, I'm on my phone just like playing a game. He spreads open my legs and I think, oh, we're gonna get intimate. And instead he goes, that's not mine. And then slams my legs together. Okay, I thought we were gonna have fun. But instead he goes, that's not mine. He sniffed you? <laughs> yes. Oh, Ryan, we got a sniffer. We got a sniffer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's... So, Mr. Monero. Well, what I want to know is, these allegations came out of the blue that she was cheating? I mean, out of the blue? There's blue everywhere. It didn't come from out of the blue, okay? <laughs> Has she cheated on you in the she past? She had a baby in between our relationship with another man. Because you that broke sound? up with me! Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's huge. <laughs> that's, that's huge. Because, this, and this is the thing about that. The thing about that is that now he has to, the baby is going to be a constant reminder, right? That, you know, you guys broke up, but now the baby, every time he has a look, because the baby's living with her, so it's living with him if they're living together. But every time you see this baby, it's a constant reminder of another penis up inside of her. Every time you see this baby, it's a constant reminder of another penis in her mouth. And that's the problem. And so, and then there's also the thing to where you're wondering if she's cheating on you with her baby daddy, which a lot of times you guys know when you have a baby daddy or baby mama, a lot of times it's hard for those people to break that connection and they'll go back and cheat with their baby daddy or their baby mama. And so you have that. So he, he has that in his mind, too, is she going back to cheat with her baby daddy, right? And he has the idea of every time I see this kid's face in my house, 
it's a reminder of her having SEX with this other man. It's a reminder of her having SES with her baby daddy. Every time I see this child in my house, it's a reminder of her having another D-I-C-K inside of her mouth, having another D-I-C-K inside of her, 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 you know, V. <laughs> All right. So that that's a huge problem. Okay, now this is kind of where it's coming from. It makes more sense now. A baby oh. with another man. So during the course of this the relationship, there's been another man. Yes. And so is that the source of the trust being broken? Absolutely. Well, during the time you've been together, was there any cheating in the past? Okay. She went on a business trip to Vermont. Okay, business trip. Oh, my God. Oh, just chill. She went on a business <laughs> trip. And so... She gets back and she says, uh, I say, what'd you do? You have a good time? Oh yeah, it was cool. The end. She never go on a business trip. She's gone for three days to Vermont. She's been to Vermont, okay? So that night she goes to sleep. Usually her phone is like the baby inside. You can't get to it. Like you can't get to this phone no matter what. But I always tell you people, if somebody is hiding their phone, don't trust them. If somebody in your face, if they can't answer their phone, talk to the person, have a conversation, if they put their phone on airplane mode, silence their phone, if they put their phone face down all the time when they're with you, they're messing with somebody else. They're messing with somebody else. If you're with somebody, and we'll end, this will be part one. We'll end it right here for part one. Then we'll hear about the other stuff. We'll hear about the business trip on part two. This will be part one. If you're with somebody and they have their phone face down, on silent, on airplane mode, and they can't answer the phone and talk in front of you, they're messing with somebody else. I got my videos right down there, people. This will be part one. We'll do part two later. You'll see it later. You guys take care. Have a great day or great night, depending on where we are in the world, where you are in the world. Have a great day or great night, guys. Hold on, end time period of chill. Love you guys, all right? They go to videos right there. Love you guys, all right? Take care, all right? Peace, bye-bye.